Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians 1 and in particular verse 18. But what does it matter? The most important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. What a magnanimous attitude, beautiful attitude, the Apostle Paul had towards those who were maligning his character and reputation. I want to pull out a phrase uh, from this verse and uh, want to uh, think about it. And the phrase is the most important thing. I think that's a very crucial phrase that you and I need to think about more and more deeply. The most important thing is what? That Christ is being proclaimed. Paul is more concerned with the salvation of the lost than with vindication of himself. The supreme priority of life for the Apostle Paul was the proclamation of the gospel. Now, here is a statement that you and I would do well to write down and remember. All of Christ, through all of me, at all time, in all circumstances. Can I uh, repeat that again? All of Christ, through all of me, at all times, in all circumstances. That should be the supreme priority of our life. If you and I were to list our priorities, I'm sure work would come pretty high on the list. Our family would come high on the list. Our health would come high on the list. But the number one priority should always be the proclamation of the gospel. That must become the most important thing in your life and my life. To keep the main thing, the main thing, as somebody had once said it. Now, I recently read Psalm 71. And uh, in Psalm 71, which is called the senior psalm, written by the psalmist in old age, there are some verses that really address this issue. And I want to read them out to you. Psalm 71 and verse 15. My mouth will tell of your righteousness, of your salvation all day long. Did you hear that? What the psalmist is saying? All day long, he's going to talk about the Lord's righteousness and the Lord's salvation. He's not going to talk about politics or about sports. He's going to talk about the Lord. Psalm 71 and verse 17. To this day, I declare your marvelous deeds, which means this has become a habit for the Psalms every single day to talk about the Lord's marvelous deeds. Then Psalm 71 and verse 24, my tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long. It's repeated the second time. In your Bible, you need to underline uh, those uh, words. All day long, I'm going to talk about your righteous acts. And then in Psalm 71 and verse 18, even when I'm old and gray, do not forsake me, O God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your might to all who, who, who are to come. The psalmist was very concerned about the next generation. And he's saying, Lord, please keep me alive long enough till I have opportunity to tell the next generation about 
your greatness, your goodness, your glory, and your grace. So, beloved, we have opportunity to do that with our children, with our grandchildren, with young people who come across our path, to be able to talk to them, to tell our stories about the Lord's goodness, great, grace, greatness, and grace. May God give us grace to keep the main thing, the main thing, the proclamation of the gospel. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.